Hello, this is Television Czar, and I'm going to show you all the parity cases and how to solve them. So, it's edge parity. So, anyways, let's get on to the first one. Okay, the first edge parity is when it looks like this. And how you do it is you do this, you do double R2, B2, U2, double L, U2, double R inverted, U2, double R, U2, F2, double R, F2, double L inverted, B2, R2, double R2, and that's how you do that parity case, and let's get on to the next one. Okay, the next parity case looks something like this, and you place it so that it's on the top, and like when you make that, it pairs it up, and when you do that, it pairs it up. So that's kind of how to tell and it's only on the right side. So then you do this, um, this case you do double L inverted U2, double L inverted U2, F2, double L inverted F2, double R, U2, double R inverted U2, L2. And that's how you solve it. Okay, the next parity case is the easiest case you can have. Um, it looks like this. And this, there's like kind of three versions. There's the right version, the left version, and the double. So, okay, for this one, how you can tell is um, when you move this, it kind of pairs it up like this. And also, these two are already paired up. So, anyway, this is how you do it. You do double D, R, F inverted, U, R inverted. F inverted, or F, and double D inverted, and it's solved. Okay, this next case is the um, left version. It looks like this, and they're in the front, like the last one. And how you can tell is when you move it like this, pairs it up and these two are already paired up. So then you do this move, you do double D inverted, L inverted, U inverted, L, F inverted, L, F, L inverted, double D, and solved. Okay, this next one, it's, here's what it looks like. It's similar to the first parity case that I showed you, except there's two of them. So you could do two very long parity cases, or you can do, like, the shortest parity case ever. So, I'm going to teach you that. So, what you do is you do double D, double U inverted, R, F inverted, U, R inverted, F, double D inverted, W, and it's solved. Let's get on to the next one. Okay, this is the next case. It looks like this. 
And how you can tell is both of them are kind of like flip swap. So if you turn that and that, it looks like a party case from before. And same thing with the other side. So then you have it on the front, right, and left. And then you do this algorithm. You do W2, double R2, F2, little U2, F2, double R2, U2. And it solves it. Okay, the next parity case looks like this. And how you can tell which one it is, is if you turn both to the side, it pairs it up. And both to the side, and it pairs it up. Okay, and you put it on the front, or the top, front and back. And then you do this algorithm. You do... Um, I could remember. Okay, F2, double R, D2, double R inverted, F2, U2, F2, double L, B2, and double R, double L inverted and it solves it. Okay, the next parity case looks something like this. And how you can tell which one it is, is if you turn both of them, pairs one up, and if you turn the other one, it's kind of like the first parity. So, what you do is you, the one in the front, is the one that pairs it up. So then you do this algorithm, you do double R2 B2 double R inverted U2 double R inverted U2 B2 double R inverted B2 double R B2 double R inverted B2 double R2 and it solves it. And let's see, I, I think there's two more. Okay, this next one, the parity case looks like this. And the name of it is checkerboard because it's it looks all screwed up. And there's a left and right version of it. This one's the left. How you can tell is if you turn the left twice, it pairs pairs up some of it. So then you do then you do this algorithm. You do double L U two double L two U two double L inverted U two double L U two double L inverted U two double L2, U2, double L, and it solves. And now I'm going to show you the last one. The last checkerboard looks very similar. It looks like this, except when you turn the right side, it pairs up these two. So then you do this algorithm. You do double R inverted. U2, double R, 2, U2, double R, U2, double R inverted, U2, double R, U2, double R2, U2, double R. And it solves it. And I think those are all the parity cases that you can have. And that was my tutorial on edge parity.